Lord, to bless our service tonight. Father, thank you so much for each and every young person, teenager, and adult back this evening. We ask that you would once again bless the service and help us to have a good time here as we sing praises to you, as we learn from your word. Father, as we have a good time playing competitions and games, just bless it all we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and be seated, all right? Let's go ahead and have another song here in just a minute, but a couple of announcements. Let me remind you to keep working on those memory verses. I know as you came in tonight, many of you did, and I'm glad that you were, but remember, tomorrow night, Thursday night, when you come in, make sure you get that book and you look at those verses and you work on them and you take them to a worker, take that book to a worker and ha uh, say it to them and have them sign it for you. Because once again, you're going to earn uh, tickets that you can spend at the end of the week and you're also going to help your team earn extra handfuls of candy. Now, I promised you guys, if you were singing good, I'd give you a handful of candy. So let me give the black team and the red team and the yellow team and we'll skip the green team. How about that? Should we skip the green team? No. Oh, we, we got to be fair. We'll give them a handful because they were singing good too. All right. Let's go ahead and try another song. How about, I'll go ahead and lead you in this one, and then I'll have Brother Josh lead you in the next one. Go ahead and stand up. Stand up. This one's I May Never March in the Infantry. So this is an action song. You do the actions with me. Here we go. Ready? I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never Fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. All right, now for our second verse. We're going to go down south here to Mexico. I may never take a trip to Mexico, ride a donkey oh so slow, eat a cheesy taco, wear a big sombrero. All right, so let's sing that one. I may never take a trip to Mexico. Ride a donkey, oh so slow. Eat a cheesy taco. I may never wear a big sombrero, but I'm in the Lord's army. Si, senor. I'm in the Lord's army. Si, senor. I'm in the Lord's army. Si, senor. I may never take a trip to Mexico. Ride a donkey, oh so slow. Eat a cheesy taco. I may never wear a big sombrero, but I'm in the Lord's army. Si, senor. Now, this is one of my favorite ones right here. I may never blast off to outer space. So you got to get real low for that one because you're going to blast off up into the air. And then we're going to say, run in a rocket race, shoot lasers every place. I may never walk on the moon in space. All right, here we go. Ready? I may never blast off to outer space, run in a rocket race, shoot lasers every place. I may never walk on the moon in space quickly back but i'm in the lord's army roger sir i'm in the lord's army roger sir i'm in the lord's army roger sir i may never blast off to outer space run in a rocket race Shoot lasers every place. I may never walk on the moon in space, but I'm in the Lord's army. Roger, sir. Hurry, sit down. One, two, three. 
Oh, good job. Another handful for the black. Oh, dropped one of the blacks. One more for the red. One more for the yellow. Every team's getting a handful because every team's doing good tonight. All right, here we go. Another song, Brother Josh. He's going to lead us in this. This one's a fun one. If you're not out of energy yet, if you're not out of breath yet, you will be when this one's over. It's called I'm In Right, Out Right, Up Right, Down Right. Brother Josh. trick here we're going to add to it i'm in right out right up right down right down right up right out right in right happy all the time all right here we go forwards and the backwards Take a break, take a break, because now it is time, game time, with Blackbeard. But I got a message. Blackbeard sent me a text earlier today. He said, I'm not going to be coming. I'm planning how I'm going to capture Bootstrap Bill and Shipwreck Sally, so I'm too busy. So he said he would send his cousin, Hawaii. Ah. All right, this is Blackbeard's cousin, Hawaii, who is going to come, and he's going to help us with our game tonight. So go ahead and take it away, if you would.
I need a helper to count for this side. Okay. I need a, I need a helper over here. Where's the leader? Where's the leader? Brandon, come on up here. He's over here. He's over here. Okay. Jocelyn, come on up here on this side. You guys, find a go, give it to him. Find a go, give it to her. Everybody, everybody at the same time, come on up here, quick. Hold on, what's that, wait. Yeah, stand on this side. Okay, stand on this side. 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 Stand on this side
to their account. It's starting out with heads on my thumb, all right? Heads or tails, call it in the air, ready? Call it. Boost. Hey, let's try it again. It hit the wood. I better do it down here. All right. Let's try it again. Ready? It is tail! You want to make sure nobody thinks I'm cheating, all right? But you know, I don't want anybody to think that I am unfair, all right? So I've got a second roll of nickels. Let's see here. Brother Hughes, why don't you call this one, all right? Heads or tails? Same thing. We're going to start it on the heads, all right? Ready? Here we go. Heads. It is?
sure, right? For the green girl side? Oh, all right. Uh, ooh, hey, hey. No, looking close there. At one time, it looked like the girl side had a lot more, but the boys really came back. All right, brother Troop. When I count to three, let me make sure this is loose a little bit here, so that way it'll give us a fair reading. All right, here we go. On the count of three, he's going to let it go. I'll be here to grab this one, and you make sure that one doesn't fall off. So we don't have nickels all over the floor, right? Actually, you go ahead and throw it to that end, and I'll be right here. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Let it go. Oh. It looks like the girls may have won, but we want to make sure that the scales are correct. So you take that for the boys. This is the girls. Make sure that they know back there in the captain's quarters. That's girls. That's boys. We'll find out. It could be that the scales were wrong. So boys, you still may have fun tonight. We'll find out. If the girls won, then they're going to get extra candy and it'll be time for the week. One to one. Girls, do you think the scales were right? Wrong. Yeah. Those scales might just be too old and they're not working properly. So that's why we've got to check them. Alright. They have, you're right, they haven't lied yet. But they could be wrong this year. Let's sing one more song. Who's the king of the jungle? Go ahead and stand with me. After this song, we're going to hear our pirate story for tonight. Alright. So let's sing this song.
about a creature. It's about a red pirate whose name is Now listen. 
Listen, I'm just concerned. Maybe we shouldn't have left the ship. I mean, after all, if you aren't sure where to go from here. God, 
The one who created this map and the one who gave us eternal riches. Ah. Oh. When you put it that way. I feel really bad about something. I feel awful. I've done. I feel oh. awful. I feel awful for the things you've done. But I feel more awful for the things I've done. You feel awful too, Shipwreck. Right? I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> With a yes, you feel awful. I feel awful. Good, you look awful. Well, so what do we do now? It looks like you guys have learned all that you needed to hear. Why don't you go ahead and look at the map again? All it says is Bog of Blackness. I and the key that is... Map. What is this? Oh my goodness! See the oh! Let's 
go get them.
to me back there. Uh, who won tonight? Both sides had more come in tonight hey, on the, than the last night. night. We'll find out which side won. Now, I said, do you want to see me juggle these, right? Yeah. I don't know if we, I can, but I'm willing to try. Since I don't know if I can, you better watch. Girls on the front row, boys on the front row, because you might have a peach come flying at you. You ready? Here we go. Whoa. Oh, I knew I lose it eventually. All right. Now, I'm going to use these peaches in just a minute to try to teach you a lesson. And tonight, guess what? We've got some peaches for eating, along with our fruit snacks as well for our snack. But I want to remind you what we learned last night. We talked about the map. And who, raising their hands, sitting up big and tall, can tell me what I said was the map for your life? Who knows? The map for your life. Right there. Naomi. The Bible is the map for your life. You are on a journey just like bootstrap and shipwreck are on a journey and they have a map that they're following that brought them to the ball tonight and the river tomorrow night and you have something to lead and guide and direct you just like they have something. Theirs is a map with drawings on it. Yours is a Bible with verses inside it. And those verses are going to tell you where to go, what to do, what things you should stay away from. And the first thing that we've learned tonight from our map was that there is sin in the world. And that every person has sin. Now I'm going to illustrate it to you in two ways tonight. Let me go to the last verse that Shipwreck read for you. Romans 3.23 it says, and if you know it, you can quote it with me, all right? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, it says all have sinned. And the verse that Bootstrap read, Romans 3.10, it says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Now, I've got up here two of those three peaches. Let me ask you, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of difficult questions. Are you guys smart kids? Say amen. I think you guys can answer these questions for me. I'll try not to be too tricky. Is this a peach? Yes. Is this a peach? Yes. Is this peach bigger than this peach? Yes. But they're both still what? Peaches. Peaches. Now, you know what? We look at our lives sometimes and we do the same thing with sin that we do with peaches. We say there are some sins that are big sins. Who can tell me what might be a big sin? A really bad sin. Timothy. Killing! The Bible says thou shalt not murder. My Leah. What's a really bad sin that people do? Stealing. That's a really bad sin. One more right there. Lying, that's a really bad sin. And so, we put some sins into the category of big. Now, we would say murdering and stealing would be really bad, big sins. But then there's other sins that sometimes we say, they're just little sins. In fact, have you ever heard anybody say, it's just a little white lie? Meaning, it's not that big of a sin. What about disobeying those in authority, like our parents or our teachers at school? We might do that and we say, well, that's not as bad as murder. That's not as bad. Get, uh, fighting with my brother and sister, that's not as bad as stealing. And we will look at sins and we'll say there's big sins and there's little sins. But like we just talked about with the peaches, One's big, one's little, but they're both still what? Peaches. Peaches. Say it again. They're both still what? Peaches. Right. Murder is sin. Stealing is sin. But lying and disobeying is sin. What is murder and stealing? Sin. What is lying and disobeying? Sin. That's right. So, it doesn't matter if 
it's big or little in our eyes, in God's eyes, it's all still what? Sin. Sin. Now, the Bible says that there's none righteous. That means there's none without sin. And it said, for all have sinned. And then in that verse, Romans 3.23, it says, for all have sinned and come short of of the glory of God. Now, I need someone who can jump. I'm going to ask Keith to come up here. Keith, I need your help, bud. All right. Yeah, come on up here, Keith. All right, I'm going to put it. I was going to use this tape. Let me get a longer strip. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to have you jump. Come over here. Okay, can you jump pretty far, Keith? Yeah? All right. We're going to see how far you can jump. All right, stay right here. I'm not going to have you run. I want you to stand right here with your feet right there at that line, and I want you to jump as far as you can, a standing jump as far as you can, and I'm going to mark it. All right? Go for it. Whoa. All right. Right here. All right. Good job. Thank you, Keith. Go ahead and sit down. Now let me get a boy up here to try it. Hmm. Let me try someone who's fairly tall and athletic. Logan, come on up here. I know you're pretty tall and athletic, so let's try you. All right? You start right here, feet right here, no running jump, just try to jump as far as you can, see how far you can get. Ready? Whoa, look at that. His feet went just a little bit past. Good job, all right. Now let's see if we can get a girl, a girl who's athletic. Right there, I saw you, come on up. All right. We're going to see how far the girls can jump. All right. Once again, put your feet right there. And I want you to just jump as far as you can. Get your momentum going and jump as far as you can when you're ready. All right? All right, go for it. Oh, close, but not quite. Right about in there. Now, he set the standard. He started... And he jumped to here. And lo, he made it. Which I have to admit, I was surprised by. Because he's pretty tall. But, then our, our lady didn't make it. And that's okay, because once again, Keith is tall, right? And so, she felt just a little bit short. Now, she shouldn't feel bad about her efforts. She tried, right? That's what the Bible's teaching us. God is the one who sets the standard. And you know what God is? He is perfect. You know what that means? That means He does not have any sin. Go back to our peaches. When we think about sin, God has not sinned. Though every one of us in this room have lied or maybe disobeyed, some in this room, as sad as it may sound, may have even stolen before. Or maybe they've cursed and taken God's name in vain, said some bad things. As bad as that is, guess what? God has never done any of those things. He has never sinned, never done wrong. And He has set the mark like He did when He jumped from here to here. But you know why? Because every one of us have sinned even though it may be a little sin in our eyes. It may be a little sin in your parents' eyes and in your friends' eyes. Every one of us, when we mark ourselves against God or judge ourselves against God, we fall just a little bit short because of sin. So you know what? Heaven is a perfect place. You know why it's perfect? Because God created it. So, God can't allow sin into heaven. But guess what? He made a way for all of us to get into heaven. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow night. What I want you to think about tonight as we get ready to close Vacation Bible School for this evening is sin. I want you to walk away from here tonight understanding that every one of us are guilty of it. It's important to admit that. Do you know there are some people in the world that think they've never done anything wrong? That's hard to believe, isn't it? Because I bet every one of us tonight knows 
And we can probably think of something even today or this week that we've done wrong. But there are some people that think they've never done wrong. God wants us to understand there is sin. It's anything that we do that goes against His Word. And when we understand that, then we're ready for the next step in this journey. Just like Bootstrap and Shipwreck had to get ready for the Red River, and before they could, they had to understand they were sinners. So we'll talk about the next step tomorrow night. But I want you to think about that as we go home tonight. That God's Word is a map for your life, and the first thing you have to understand is that you have sinned. The preacher has sinned. Every one of us have sinned before. Even if it's just one time, we've all sinned. And that means that we need God's help. And we're going to find out how we can get God's help tomorrow night. So let's go ahead and put our hands together. Okay. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray real quick. Father, thank You once again for these young people doing so good tonight. Listening paying attention during the skit, singing with songs. I pray that You'd help us as we go home to think about what we learned last night, what we've learned tonight, and Father, what we're going to learn tomorrow night. And Lord, I pray that some of us here who don't know Jesus as our Savior would make that decision to trust Him. Now bless the rest of our time together, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright. So, We've already had our pirate story. Let's sing one more song and then I'll give you the results for our nickel march. And we're going to recognize those who brought visitors. And as I said last night, for every visitor you bring, you get either a crunchy taco certificate or a bean burrito certificate. So we're going to hand those out in just a minute. Let's sing this song, this little light of mine. Go ahead and take your pointer finger. Lift it straight up in the air, and that's going to be your light. And we're going to just move our lights around like this. We're going to let our lights shine. Ready? This is a light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This
Canadian have 35.65 or 35.60. Tonight, you had $46! They got us by $11, boys, but there's tomorrow night. And tomorrow night is a new night. Now, I promised handfuls of candy for the side that won. So let's do two more handfuls of candy for the green and two more handfuls of candy for the yellow. Alright, now time for our visitors. When I call your name, you go ahead and come on up here. Let's take those bags and shake them out. Make sure it doesn't have a hole. You don't want any hole. Alright. Now, go ahead and hold on to those bags. Because we're going to award those who brought visitors. But before we do, let's do this song. I'm going to sing. I'm going to shout. Alright, when we say shout, I want you to shout it out. Alright, shout out the word shout. How many of you know this song? Raise your hand. Alright, stand up with me. Stand up, here we go.
right. Do you want the crunchy taco or the bean burrito? Crunchy taco. All right, let's hear it for Ida. All right. Next, Michael. Come on up. What's it gonna be? The crunchy taco or the bean burrito? Crunchy taco as well as the bean burrito! Next, Logan Mooneyham. Come on up here. Logan Mooneyham. All right. Logan, did you bring a visitor tonight? Yes. Are you going for crunchy taco or? Yes! That's
be completely quiet. Oh. There's a tie between two teams right now. So, we're going to let the red and green teams go first. Wait, not yet. We've got to pray for the food. For the snack. And then wait, who's going to go next? Out of the black and the yellow. We're going to go yellow. And then black. You always did do bad on the black. It's just the other three teams were really, really good tonight. Alright. Let's pray one last time. Ask the Lord to keep us safe. Bless our snack and bring us back tomorrow. Heads bowed, eyes closed. No one looking as soon as it's quiet. I'll pray and we'll get more. Dear Jesus, thank you once again for all that we've heard tonight. Please bless us as we go home. Keep us safe. And help us, Lord, I pray, to remember what we've learned tonight at Vacation Bible School. Bless the snack and those that prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Red and green team, don't run each other down. Go out.